And now talking about music, it's good to have Sinzu is Sinzu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Sinzu is on your number one hit music station. What's good, my G? How you doing? Yo, to the T-U-N. What's going on, my guy? Ah, Sinzu. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. I love this. It's good. I, I enjoy some great work um, every single time. It's nice to always come back, and we always have to have this conversation. Right. Now, and the first question for me always, it always swings in that direction where I have to ask you, I mean, where have you been? Seems... <laughs> getting, my, getting my head together, man. I get that question a lot, but I'm just getting my head together, you know? So many things are happening behind the scenes, so I just, like, had to take a break, you know, but... After a while, I got I got to understand like you know what this is this is this is what I should be doing you know this is my therapy this is what I want so I found that passion again and that's why you know I got back in the studio. Honestly. So the thing is, you know, sometimes people you get these questions a lot, but oftentimes you feel like um, people expect you to give it up. You know, sometimes they feel you need to give it up, but it's not your case because you you always have the depth when it comes to music. You mix a lot of magic. Now, have you ever gone to a point where people tell you, you know, what I just I mean you're good, just give it up? Nah, nobody ever told me to give it up. Most like there was really like, you're good, don't give it up, you know what I mean? You know, and it was times where I felt like, all right, I'm just give it up, you know what I mean? But then you know, you go through life, so it's like I've learned to not give it up. You know what I mean? Can you hear me? I'm good, my mic sound good. You're good, yeah, you sound good, you sound good. Now the right, thing cool, is, cool, cool. I always want to come to the name Sing Zoom. And when I when I started this conversation, mm -hmm. <laughs> I started this conversation and say some people some I mean, people jack your stuff and this name actually. Did you have a problem when when somebody calls themselves Singzu? Did you have a problem with it? I uh, and that name we I mean, with, with uh, you know him right? <laughs> Did you have a problem with it? Who, 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 who are you talking about? You talking about the um, the, the comedian? The, yeah, the, the, the skate too. maker. Do, do I part? Do yeah, I, yeah. Throw his I name? mean. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. You're talking about um, La Sisi, right? La Sisi. He calls himself Sings of Money. How do you feel about that? I mean, it's flattering. It's interesting. You know what I mean? But it gets it gets, it gets gets weird when people think I'm not Sinzu and he's Sinzu. You know what I'm saying? That's when it gets funny. But, you know, I think it's all, it's all, it's cool. You know what I mean? But he's going to have to holler at me, though. He's going to have to holler at me because <laughs> he took off with that. <laughs> but you, That boy you, took did, off with that. Did you like that or you didn't? Be honest. I mean, um, at the time... I, had a, I think I went through mixed emotions about it. Like, there was a time when I felt like, man, what is this guy doing? And then there was another time where I was just like, you know what? Maybe that's his way of, you know what I'm saying, showing love. But And then there was another time like, guy, we might want you to do it. But now let's let's clear it. You are the original Sinzu Money, right? I'm the original Sinzu. You know, the whole Sinzu Money or the whole everything they put on, you know, that's their nickname. That's their variation of it. That's cool. But it's Sinzu, you know what I mean? And if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Let's quickly talk about the body of work, um, Dear Afrobeat. There's always something that just yes, makes sir. you um, want to make music, right? First of all, let me ask you, what what has made you more open to make this body of work now? Um, First, I feel like I have a lot to say, you know what I mean? Just like you asked, like, where have I been, you know? I haven't done any interviews. I haven't made any music. I haven't been on the scene. So it was just so much to say. It was like all bottled in to where I was just ready to, you know, say something. You know what I'm saying? I have some loyal fans that really hit me up all the time. They get in my DM. They're like, bro, come on, you know? Make music. And I'm like, man, yeah, you know? And it's not like I didn't make music. At, at the time, I was making music, but I just wasn't putting it out, you know? Mm. Uh, and then it got to a point where I just stopped. I, like, I just didn't go to the studio for like a whole year, two years, like, you know? Year and a half, really. And then one day I just... You know, got back to it, and I'm glad I did because that's how we got to hear our pro beats. And I actually titled it that because I wanted to, I wanted to show you know that part of me. Like I feel like it's a different part. It's something new, and fresh. You know, so. and that's good. And when I, there was a time, I think three or two, three years ago, you got signed. Um, I mean, news came out that David O signed you, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that, that yeah. was that real or is that just made up? No, nah, it wasn't made up, you know what I'm saying? You know, David, shout out to David 30 BG, you know what I'm saying? When I got out of, when I got out of prison at the time, you know, he kind of like held me down, like on some, you know what, I got a whole machine right here, pull up, we're going to get the paperwork done and you know, pull up. But it wasn't no paperwork behind it, it was just, you know, I really the truth about it, but. 
So it was just based on Shout friendship. Out to David, you know, it was based on friendship with you and yeah. David. It was, it was based on the history. It was based on Carolina. It was based on, you know, just, you know, because we go way back. So it was that was his way of, like, showing love. It was other people that didn't even, you know what I'm saying? It was, it, yeah. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, but but how did that play out? I mean, you got, I mean, you got some oh, no, so, friendship. How did that well, how did that play out over, I, I, over time? I didn't, I didn't get signed based on friendship. <laughs> I didn't say I got signed based on friendship. Is it nah, friendship? basically. Okay, so, 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 uh, no. season, did he involve money? No, it didn't involve no money. No, okay. of course not. Okay. No. It wasn't about, it wasn't, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a contract. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. It was just basically, I was just riding it. So, but that, you know, after that, after I did that album, um, COVID happened. Oh. I wasn't. I wasn't ready for COVID. Like I didn't even know what COVID was, you know. And this was like my fresh re Yeah, you know, this was my Yeah, my fresh reentry back into the industry and then that happened, the world stopped. And then you could just imagine I was just like, all right, man, I'm good, you know. If I'm gonna then, ask you this question about what pisses you off more about the industry or what makes you what what do you love more? First of all, I ask you the first question. What pisses you off more now, knowing you've been doing this for a long time? Sometimes you know things don't play out the way you think it is. What pisses you off? Oh yeah, what pisses off? me off? What pisses me off is feeling like I might have been underrated. You know what I'm saying? What pisses me off is people like playing with my name and not, you know what I'm saying, paying homage to it. Another thing that pisses me off is the fact that back then, way back then, there wasn't a lot of um distro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't track your music and where it's being played at, you know what I'm saying, to be able to get the royalties and all of that. So that pisses me off. But right now it's like, you know, it's in a good place. So and that's why we're here. Um, how, does, how does it but, feel? This relationship, I mean, before we go into talking more about the music and, I mean, right. the things that inspired you, you I'm, I'm also going to talk about, because you mentioned prison, we have to, that that played out, but I don't think you've ever right. spoken about it any time, right? But before that, I know you right. have a good right. relationship right. with David. You also have a good relationship with Dami, or you had a relationship with Dami Crane. I mean, that, that was it at the time. How do you feel? I have, a, I have, a, I have, a, I have a relationship with Danny Crane, and I have a relationship with David. Do you have a relationship with Danny Crane now? Yes, yes, I still do. Yeah. So, how do you feel about his rants about David and you? They're both your friends. How do you feel about that? Honestly, that's a real tricky situation. So, look, right? Actually, I didn't even know none of this was going on until about I think um, a, a mutual, you know, family friend brought it to my attention. Like, yo, check up on, you know, what I'm saying, check up on buddy. You know, what I'm saying. Like, it might be bad over there. You know what I mean? So, you know, like three months ago, and then I hit him up. I hit him up, like, um, I think about last week, and we just chopped it up, and I just heard his side of it. And honestly, you know, I just, I just, you know, because they're grown men, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to get in people's beef and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So I just hope they get to a point where they can just figure it out and squash it, you know what I'm saying? Because they're both my people, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, that's really how I feel about it. But grown men going to go through their things, and then they're, they're going to figure it out. Crazy. So you do, you want to be on the fence on that? <laughs> I mean, what can I do? Honestly, the truth <laughs> of it is, yeah. I, the truth, the, the the color version of it is, it ain't none of my business. You feel me? Like uh, I really don't care. Yeah, I really don't care what they got going on. But I'm dressing it up. You know what I'm saying? To sound like, you know what I mean? But but he's good. That's really that's the first time it. you address that because um you still have a great relate. People would assume that maybe you are not based on that. You don't have a relationship with Dami, but now you're honest about it. You and Dami Crane are still cool, and you and David are still cool. You just don't want to make it your business. Right. I get that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got my own business to handle. Beer Afro Beats. You know what I'm talking about? That's my business. That's, that's, cool. that's cool. What did you go to prison yes, for? Oh uh, man, <laughs> you don't like. That I was question, accused. Man. I was. A, I was accused. I was accused of like um, something called identity theft. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then I got sentenced to about 20, 24 months. In a federal um, prison, and you know that was a lot of time to reflect and get my head together, and came out, and here I am. That's behind me. You know what I mean? That was a terrible experience, and I learned from it. You know what I'm saying? Because in every negative situation, you should be able to take a positive out of it. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Well, so I learned not to not to go back over there. You know what I mean? And have fun over there. You know I, I get that. I get that. And I'm for me, the joy for me is. I mean, when when I when we had this comment, they told me. Uh, Sinzu, I mean, the good thing is, uh, I love you making music. You never go wrong. Now, it's the right, same right, way right. your fans keep telling you, bro, music, music. I know I'm sure you probably got tired of hearing that, right? But this feels yeah, good. Yeah, I got, I got tired of hearing it. I got tired of hearing it. This feels good. Um, I think you laid some emphasis on setting things. You talked about targets, 
It's like some things have changed. <laughs> Do you want to just, uh, you want to talk us through that song? Just talk us through it. I feel there's some things that are in there. <laughs> what are you trying to say? No, no, no. I'm just basically, you know, letting everybody know, like, shit not like this people do. Like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people took advantage of the situations. And I'm like, shit not like this people do. You know, if you did not, we did. We know if you did, as we did. You know what I'm saying? I press strong, you know what I'm saying? We would be like one of two, like, Genesis, I should do. Say no more party party. Because right now, celebrity calls. When you play celebrity you know what I'm talking about? And then the whole thing, over, like, the whole target thing, you know, be outside, you know what's going on. You know, the thing is, they talk about Lamba. And um, I want to say this, everybody. Sinzu is one of the Lamba kings, right? In that time. And uh, which one was your favorite, actually? I mean, you started the Ite, Ite, Ite Ma Dabi. <laughs> it was Ite Ma. It was, it's Nigeria. You know what the effort is? Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, yeah. Yeah, bye, yeah, bye. It was Sinzu, Sinzu. It was the flyest African ever, African ambassador of rap music. Crazy. It was... Yeah, then Sinzu came. Sinzu. Oh, then crazy. Sinzu came my name. Which which one stuck? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Aside Sinzu, which one stuck on you? Uh, which one? Uh, I think Sinzu was over everything, and then um, yeah, yeah, this Sinzu. Sinzu was the only one. Sinzu was the only one. You know, make right now, right right now, I'm going with streets. Don't streets because I'm going. Streets changing the song. Ah, streets are changing the song. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, the you know <laughs> and the format keeps changing every single time. Now the thing is, I'm talking about you know, when you're making music or you're growing in this craft, sometimes you build friendships, and sometimes some right. some are good, some are bad. Guaranteed. Right. Now the thing is, is it easy now trying to reach out to your pairs? For example, you want to make a record. Is there anybody you reached out for this body of work that never came through? Uh, never came like when you say never came through, like they weren't able to get me yeah. the verse back on time, verse or, or, or you they never reached out and never replied. Okay, was yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a few of those, but it was, it wasn't like important like that. Or, you know, so like, so for me, I, hadn't, I haven't been in touch with so many people to where mm. I don't know what the schedule is like. You know what I mean, and a lot of people got busy, so but for me, it's like if I like a record and I want to do a record with you, whether business purposes or just for the record sake, mm. you know, it's not going to take me that much time to the record. Even if it does take time, you know, some records you can do it in one take, sometimes you have to take your time. So there was people who couldn't give me back records on time. And then there was people who just couldn't do it because, you know, they were busy. And there was people who tried to play with me and it was just like, all right, you got it. It's good, bro. No trip. It's good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing is, who are you feeling right now? Who's that person you know? Uh, you know, you know, you know this person's got the depth. You know this one. There's something good. Who are you feeling right now? Aside Sing Zoom, who are you feeling right now? Honestly, I haven't really been paying too much attention, honestly. You know, it's, it's been some things here and there, like a couple rap guys, like, you know, I like Paper Foley on. I like what Paper got going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I definitely like, I definitely like Drummo, you know what I'm saying? I like what Drummo got going on. And shout out to Dremel, though. Like, the whole thing with Night Job versus Ghana. Yeah. Shout out to my boy holding it down, though. My boy held it down. Shout out to Dremel Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got him on. I got him on his joint too. So check out, look out for that joint. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like Dremel. You like, got, you got Sorry to cut you off. You, you got Dremel on there. You got Odumo the Black on it as well. Um, you, yeah. you know, uh, Odumo the Black. Hmm. That's one of the hottest right now. He's he's killing it big time. Big Kala. Big Kala. Uh, big Kala. Uh, shout out to Odumo the Black. By, by the way, matter of fact. Speaking of which, you said, is there anybody I reached out to? At first, I tried to reach out to the most black, right? Yeah. But I, I didn't know him personally. So um, the, the avenues I tried to go through, it wasn't forthcoming. It was taking too, too much time, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And at that point, I was just like, all right, I'm going to scratch this. But shout out to my boy, David O, you know what I'm saying? Because I just hit him like, yo, can you get, can you get buddy, you know what I'm saying? Can you, you know, be like, right, I got you. And the next thing, keep in mind, I've been trying to get a hold of dude, other the black, like a little bit. And then... David will hit him up, and the next day, who they working for? That's, good. that's dope. So relationships like that are real important. You know what I mean? So that's why, even with the Dami Crane and David O situation, I can't play with that. You feel me? Like y'all figured it out. Man. So. Yeah, you played it down. I mean, you already said it. That uh, it's none of your business. <laughs> none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I got my own business. Uh, uh, I, was, I was trying to get your take on that, <laughs> but 
clearly, you know. I know. I know. I know. I know. You, you, you know these things already. You, you know. You know it already. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to I go for that. I go for that. People are waiting for that and saying, okay, I want, I want, I want things uh, uh, you know, opinion on that. Uh, but to be honest, that's the toughest place to be. To be you know, you have two guys. Uh, it's, it's crazy. I know that. It's crazy. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. You know, people bicker and batter. You know, they'll figure it out. I know. I'm pretty sure they don't want to. They don't want to hurt each other. I'm pretty sure it's you know, it's, it's gonna be water under the bridge one day. Now you name this dear Afro beats. Dear Afro beats. Yes. Yes. Intentionally. Now this time, what's next for Sinzu? I don't. I don't want to see. See, listen, you are not going anywhere, bro. Don't go. <laughs> The, the, the thing I, is, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go nowhere. They, 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 like even in one of the songs, I was like, "What's up? What's up? We can fight that." My solo mode. I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So it's like, for, for me, when you say what's next, like me even doing, like I woke up in like some day in chamber. Yeah. Well, in December last year, I was like, "All right, by the end of this year, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop playing around. I'm gonna get back to why they know me." I was looking around and I was like, "Why do these people even know me? Like it's all the music, you know what I mean?" And for some reason, I'm gonna touch with that. But then I vowed that by January first, I was gonna get back on it, and that's how your Afrobeats was birthed. Now it's a different, it's a different body of work from everything else I've ever put out. You know what I'm saying? It's obviously, I'm more seasoned now. I've had a long hiatus. I have a lot to talk about. That's and, a, that's a long yeah. one, but, and that's why you're not going anywhere, bro. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean? We're so, not just gonna let you go. I'm gonna just keep chunking them out, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep chunking them out. And shout out to all the fans that kept me on my feet, man. All them people who you know who you are, man. Matter of fact, shout out to Dami Larry at Sun Chief, bro. Mm. my boy, man. He for like a whole year, he was just on me constantly. And then I just told him like I'm good. And then he ain't bothered me no more. And then as soon as I got back doing it, he was like, Oh geez, this how nobody are you I'm 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 happy, I'm happy you're doing it. And you know things like that. That's that. That's that's the joy for me. You know, you know, I like that. Like it's that. a tough industry too, as well. And I mean, how you guys have kept that relevance for a long time, is hard these days. You know, um, everybody just uh, they pick their history from when they were born, <laughs> and I think that's crazy. Sometimes you need to check back and see how this thing has, has really played out. And with you, bro, man. <laughs> I don't want to ask that question with you. I mean, everybody keeps asking. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. When are you coming tonight? Oh, when am I coming you tonight? Like, <laughs> you know, like, listen, like listen, listen. We, <laughs> bro, I, why I, do they, why do they ask me that question? Every but, time? but you like, see, the thing is, let me explain. I, I want to say this in my language. Ojulora, why you're you're a bad boy too as well, right? What he means is that right. uh, when he keeps seeing you, that's when we have that conversation. Uh, but right. you, do you have a special reason why you don't want to come to Nigeria yet? No, it's no special reason, you know, I just, you know, I just function better, you know, I function better in America, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Now, not to say, like, I, I can't stay in Nigeria, but for me to stay in Nigeria, like, I would have to want to stay in Nigeria, you know what I mean? I don't think I've gotten to the point where... You lost a best friend, right? When was this? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah, I did. This was, this was, this was, like, right after COVID. Crazy. But, um, it's, like, that whole, that whole song is, like... It's, it's not just like one week or one day or one month. It's like it's like bottled up emotions trying letting it out. Actually, that's like one of my favorite songs out there. Crazy. Crazy. You know, like you said, I'm speaking my mom. I'm talking. So, so how yeah. do you feel so, when you saw your mock shot all everywhere? Crazy. How I did, mean, how did how did that feel? And my mother. I mean, I didn't see it because I, I was already inside. You know, yeah. when my mugshot came out, it was about um, it was about like what ten months into my sentence. Like I was already, I was already down almost 10, 11 months. Crazy. So when I, I got a call from my mom, and honestly, it was it was this blog site. I don't like them. You know what I mean? They put it out there, and so, so what blog do you hate the most? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this blog. <laughs> really? Why? You don't like them. Why? I don't like them. <laughs> I don't like them, man. I don't like them. You know, I try to like them. I just, I don't like them. I don't want to like them no more. I don't like them. You know. Oh, you, like, you used to so like bad. them. I don't. I didn't have no problem with them, but then after that, I tried to let it go. 
and I still don't like them. Like I forget, I forgave everybody else for everything they done to me, but I can't forgive Mr. Black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the most painful for you, right? Yeah, they just—I mean, you know, in reality of it, I'm just trolling them. You know what I mean? They were doing their job, but I don't have to like them. You know what I mean? Sure. They don't do nothing for me. I get that. I get yeah. that. Bro, yeah. you know what? It's such a great time having to talk to you again after many years. Um, I mean, see, I see all your your, twi- your fam- family already on Twitter saying, "Hey, since we good to cool time coming." Day. <laughs> so you oh, all so felt like crazy. You, shout out, shout out to the crazy. It felt like you stopped them for so long. Wow. I, I mean, I like I that really kind of did, hunger. Man. I love that kind of hunger. When you come out, you know it's, it's right. And I think for me, that's <laughs> that's that's a good thing. Yeah, they know what's going on. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody bringing it like I'm bringing it, man. It's the only one with the suit. They can bite the side, they can top the end, they can't they never replace it, though. Crazy. You know I mean? mm-hmm. like that. Shots fired! Yeah, for me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, shots fired. I'm I'm sending shots to everybody. Yeah, you can yeah. get one, you can get one. <laughs> Thank you, Singson, for, co- yeah. for coming on the show, right? 